Okay, welcome. Today I'd like to offer some reflections about the importance of doing something like art therapy or creativity um, to help heal trauma. Okay. So I was reading the book, uh, The Lover Within, uh, which is about the archetype of the lover um, by Robert Moore. Um, and also Joy Shaverian's book about boarding school syndrome. And I just wanted to share a little bit, and I'll show you in a bit, some of my paintings. Um, I f first started to paint in 2002, and I started off by more doing Chinese brush painting, calligraphy, and it was just black and white. And I was working with a Jungian analyst, uh, this was 2003, so I'd been painting, say, six months at that point. And she said, have you thought about colour? And I'm like, no, no, I want to get good before I use colour. And she said, no, just begin to use colour. And I found it such a healing thing just to begin. And I was doing a lot of process work, working with boarding school syndrome, working with my boarding school trauma, and I just found... Suddenly I started to paint with colour and I would take my pictures to my therapist uh, once a week and show them to her. And you know, the first time she saw them, she was like, ah, you know, and it was just lovely for me to be able to paint and then show those paintings to others. So fast forward almost 20 years and I've been painting, uh, you know, um, you know, a lot. And if you go on to my Oops, my website. I've um, just uploaded some onto my website under um, my paintings, basically, um, under my offerings. I'll put a link in the bottom. But these are some of the paintings I've done over the years. So a lot of texture. I use my hands. Uh, I like to throw the paint. And this all began 2003, really. Um, so... The idea with painting like this is it's like, uh, as Robert Moore talks about in Love Within, it it bypasses the thinking mind. And it often goes to that part of ourselves that there are no words. So maybe it's early childhood. It's like, oh, yeah, when before we even were speaking, it's like, and the way I paint is I like to really create and um, move the body. So this is a, another one, you know, and I kind of, Sometimes these pe pictures can take me several years to do because I, you know, just keep layering and layering and layering. And one of the techniques I've come up with over the years is just using cardboard. So often as ex-boarders, people, you know, with trauma, we are perfectionists. And therefore we have a canvas and it's like, no, I don't want to paint, you know. So we don't do anything. Whereas if we get a bit of card just an old box, and we just paint, and, you know, I'll use, you know, if I'm feeling quite angry, or I just channel it into the card, and I've used this over the years to really support me. Um, so I'm just going to read out a few quotes. Um, one of them is, the artist channels feeling um, of inferiority or worthlessness, and instead of getting lost in fantasies, he channels it into something of collective significance you know so I think it's this idea that sometimes if we're in therapy or you know with talking you know I found that with talking therapy certainly with boarding school syndrome is I couldn't access my emotions and as I started to paint and also my work with dreams but also with the Jungian analyst that really helped me to access the unconscious and therefore this idea that when we're painting ah yeah we can channel we can flow and I really love to move the body and I might have tears or I can just feel that as I move the body now so I've just found the colors as well it's almost something quite primal it's something very um, ancient by just following my intuition you know some days I might paint with a lot of green you know very hot and and some days it's just red anger it was like, oh. but it depends what it means for you 
So reading a quote from Joyce Severian's book um, saying that basically this is how art mediates in analysis. It offers a way of revealing imagery which has previously had no other form of represent representation. It shows what cannot be spoken and mediates between conscious and unconscious, facilitating the beginning of symbolization. This is why, in working with trauma, art can help um, articulate otherwise unspeakable experiences. Um, so, yeah, it's something I work with clients as well, just teaching them how to, to connect to um, their emotions, their feelings, through drawing, through creating. Um, so, so, yeah. So, yeah, just that was really what I wanted to share today. It's just that importance... You know, I feel when we're dealing with something like complex trauma, like um, uh, boarding school syndrome or, you know, some other complex PTSD, something like that, it's important for us to use many different tools. So I've used art, I've used exercise, I've used meditation, breath work, you know, um, spirituality, I've used... Um, you know, music, singing, so art, you know, I've used all of these different things um, because it's a complex thing, it's a complex problem, how do I deal with this? So I really recommend if you have some space uh, to put a bit of plastic down, and I have got a video um, teaching you how to, 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 to paint creatively, I recommend, you know, just having a go and connect to your emotions, connect to what you're feeling. Maybe it might be a memory from boarding school and just flow, use the colours and maybe you score, use it on cardboard and you just score away and then you allow the emotion to flow. And I've personally found that to be tremendously healing over the years. Uh, so yes, I will put a link to my website with some of the pictures um, that I've painted. This is over the last 20 years. Some are in private collections now um, and some... I, you know, are here, so they are for sale as well. Um, so, yeah, any questions, please do let me know, but just really recommend paint, create, whether it's music, whether it's um, uh, art, drawing, it's like give some space every day just to do that. Okay, many blessings to you, and I look forward to hearing your questions. Okay, bye for now.